How well you can move your spine will give us clues about how you feel. So join me in this test and let's see where you might have restrictions. You're gonna to need to grab a computer where you can turn on QuickTime or maybe FaceTime but don't call anybody or a mirror that's sideways on the ground so that you can see what's happening with your body. So go ahead and join me on hands and knees. And then from this hands and knees position, you're just gonna move around up and down a little bit to get comfortable. So kind of move around, just stretching things, letting them go. And then what you're gonna look at in your mirror or your computer screen that's next to you is, let's start at the bottom of the pelvis, is what is happening with your low back and your pelvis if you tuck your pelvis under? Can you round your low back without clenching your glutes? Can you give yourself some lumbar flexion? So can you extend through your spine and can you flex through your spine? So some limitations here might be is if your pelvis is stuck in a big forward and your orientation, you may have a difficult time bringing it under and creating a little bit of round in this lumbar spine. Uh, let's say maybe you've had a C-section or some other type of abdominal scar. You might have a difficult time bringing your pelvis forward because you might hit restrictions in the front. So there's definitely various reasons on why you might not be able to move through it, but you want to start with figuring out where those restrictions are. And then let's go ahead and move up to your upper back. So we want to see if you can relax through your mid back and get a little bit of extension or at least flattening through that mid back area. Can your scapula come closer together? Um, can you get scapular retraction? And then likewise, let's see if you can push up through your shoulder blades and round through that middle back. Now, I wanna take a look at what happens to your head when you try to mount round through the middle of your back. Do you become a turtle that is pushing away into your shell, hiding, okay? Or are you able to keep your neck long and press up through your shoulder blades, through your scapula, without any of the distance going away in your neck, so keeping your neck super long. So does it look like this? Or were you able to push up into flexion like this, so that you're keeping your neck nice and long? So that can tell us with maybe every time you try to reach for something, you reach from the top of your neck, from those neck muscles, when you try to reach for something. Maybe that's how you drive the car, reach for the steering wheel, everything in life, instead of coming through from the scapula. All right, so let's check to see how mobile you are from your spine to give us clues about how your body feels and maybe areas where you wanna kind of work on loosening up that movement a little bit.